The simple act of walking to a doctor's appointment is something Shirley Tanner no longer takes for granted. I could have lost my foot had I, you know, just not seen about it. Ms. Tanner had critical limb ischemia, or CLI. CLI is a symptom of advanced peripheral artery disease from a buildup of plaque. Her doctor is vascular surgeon Dr. Gregory Pearl. Hey, Ms. Tanner, critical limb ischemia is being caused by extensive blockage in the arteries that's preventing the circulation and blood flow getting down to the extremity. The natural history in, in most cases of critical limb ischemia is, is the need for amputation. Is that pain in your foot pretty much gone now? Fortunately, that was not the case for Ms. Tanner. Because she had previous vascular issues, she knew to take the pain in her foot as a serious warning sign. Even with pain pills, it didn't subside enough, you know, to where you get some relief. The foot is where most signs and symptoms of critical limb ischemia occur. In addition to pain at rest from lack of circulation, other signs include non-healing ulcerations or slow healing sores, a small black spot on the toe, or gangrene. Vascular surgeons use Doppler ultrasound to diagnose CLI and angiograms to get more information and plan treatment. Some patients can be treated with angioplasty and stenting. Others, like Ms. Tanner, need bypass surgery. We use the vein on the inside of her leg called the saphenous vein, the same vein that can be used for heart bypass surgery or any type of bypass in the body. So we used one end of the vein and sewed it onto the artery in the groin and took the other end of the vein and sewed it onto the arteries down below the knee to carry blood flow all around all that blocked area in her thigh and around the knee. Vascular surgeons urge patients to reduce the risk factors for PAD by lowering high blood pressure and cholesterol keeping a healthy weight, exercising regularly, quit smoking, and controlling blood sugar for diabetics. Now you've got a, a nice pulse down here now. A month after Dr. Pearl performed a bypass surgery that restored circulation to her foot, Shirley Tanner is thankful. I didn't want to walk around with one foot and one leg, and I felt like that would happen had I not got some help. And when he stepped in, he fixed it. She's very good right now, but as with anything we do, uh, in any intervention that we perform for patients, uh, they require close surveillance and ongoing follow-up, so I'll be following her uh, regularly. Ask your doctor about your risks for vascular disease. Visit vascularweb.org to find a vascular specialist and learn more about vascular wellness.